Hello Year 5, Mr Bristo here and welcome to your Week 7 tutorial for Thursday. Today, can I write a battle speech to affect my reader? Now, before we get going today, you need to think. All of the work that you've done so far this week, what is it that you want your reader to feel? All of those speeches you analysed yesterday, they would have made the readers feel different things. You need to think, what is it that is going to make my troops go into battle? How do I want them to feel? Proud, guilty, nervous, worried? Or do I need to make them feel confident? That is choice number one that you need to make. So, let's get started. Part of this, as we've looked at, is in the delivery. Spartans, you have trained for years for this moment. Seize your destiny. We cannot lose to these brutes, as fortune is on our side. You are tremendous. Out there, somewhere beyond the walls, victory and untold riches await you. If we are successful, we will be the stuff of legend. Your name etched on the tongue of every Greek for generations. You may die. I cannot lie. This is dangerous. If you do, though, you will die feeling proud that you have contributed. You will live with the gods, and our people will be eternally grateful. The dastardly Trojans, who have stolen our valuable Helen, deserve payback from you, fearsome warriors. We can win because we are lions. We are strong. We are courageous. We are ready for this conflict. We are the greatest army in history. Let us show the world. So that's one example of your waggle. How we could write this battle speech to inspire. And you will notice that I have worked hard on this to use very persuasive vocabulary, powerful vocabulary. And I also have a lot of information in parenthesis which is the skill that we looked at earlier in the week. So, something that I wanted to remind you of is when you are using your waggle, the four options that you have. Option number one, and probably the worst option, is just to ignore it. But you then have three choices about how you might use the waggle, and that is us mimicking the waggle. So remember, a level one mimic is where we would just change the words. We could use synonyms, we could use words that we feel are better, but we keep a very similar structure. A level two mimic is us changing the words and then possibly trying to shuffle the sentence order around or combining two sentences or splitting one sentence into two. And then you have your level three mimic where you look at what the sentence says and then you write your own version of that. So now you have to decide, what are you going to do today? What mimic level are you going to use? Now you might want to start off at level one and then move to level two. You might stay at level one the whole time. Some sentences you might find easier than others to think of examples. So you might go level one, level two, a bit of level three, and then back to level one. But please, I implore you to use the waggle to help you. So before I start modelling that, I just want to remind you that you have three days worth of work that should help you here. You have got your sentences with parenthesis. You have got speeches that you have analysed. You have got all the information that you could possibly need about the Trojan War. And at this time, it is up to you to use those things to help you. There is no point in trying to write this without that stuff. So, let's just model very briefly a couple of examples of a level one mimic. So we start off with Spartans, you've trained for years for this moment. So I'm just changing the words. 
So instead of Spartans, I might start off with brothers. So, brothers, we have trained for years for this moment. So instead of we have trained, we have. Instead of trained, we could have prepared. We have prepared. Instead of for years, we could say for our whole lives. For this. Instead of moment, I think. I might say for this opportunity, the opportunity to become a legend. So opportunity, there we go. So instead of Spartans, we've trained for years for this moment. We've got brothers, we've prepared for our whole lives for this opportunity. And then instead of seize your destiny, I might say seize The moment. And I like the fact that it finishes with an ellipsis because when I'm reading that, I'm going to pause. So that is me modelling a level one mimic to you. I've used exactly the same sentence structure, but I've just changed some of the words. We are now going to look at a level two mimic for the next section. So we cannot lose to these brutes as fortune is on our side. You are tremendous. So this one is us changing the words and changing the sentence order. So I'm first going to think about what words could I change? Well, I could change lose. I could change brutes. I could change fortune. I could change tremendous. So I'm going to bear that in mind when I'm thinking this through. So instead of starting with we cannot lose to these brutes as fortune is on our side, I'm going to take this second clause and start with that. As fortune, oh, but I said I might be able to change fortune. So let's get rid of that. And I might change fortune to fate. As fate is on our side. So we've done this bit. As fortune's on our side, as fate is on our side, we shall not fail. I've used fail instead of lose. We shall not fail, and I've said shall not instead of cannot, we shall not fail against, instead of brutes, I'm going to say against our enemy. Finish with an exclamation mark. And instead of you are tremendous, I might say you are heroes. So there's my level two mimic. You're going to take the parts, rearrange them and change words as well. Let us move on to look at a level three mimic. So we've got out there somewhere beyond the walls Victory and untold riches await you. So this is going to, this is about me being victorious. So I'm going to rewrite this now as if I want to be victorious or what will happen when I'm victorious. So I might say, I like the word victorious. For the victors... 
and I'm not talking about people called Victor, so there's no capital, but for the Victors, untold riches and fame await you when we breach the city walls. So there we've got the first three paragraphs or three sentences really done of this. And I've used a different method for each one. So now, if I show it to you, if we take each part in turn, so we've got our level one mimic. Move it to the right place. So our level one mimic here, followed by our level two mimic. And this is something that you are all more than capable of. You are all able to, oh, that's changed opportunity. We'll leave that there. And we'll try and hopefully if we move these out of the way. Okay, so I've just popped them on the same page, but now we can read it back through. Brothers, we've prepared for our whole lives for this opportunity. Seize the moment. As fate is on our side, we shall not fail against our enemy. You are heroes. For the victors, untold riches and fame await you when we breach the city walls. Now, none of that is out of anybody's achievement zone. You can all use level one, two or three mimics using the waggle to help you write this. Now it's really, really key that you spend time on it. You can see from this video, I haven't just raced through it. I have thought about each sentence. I've thought about the words. I've thought about the power that I want to generate. So we're all looking forward to seeing what you've written. One more request I have is please listen to the task. Your task today is just to write this. Tomorrow you are going to be editing and recording. So think very carefully about just getting the words perfect for today. It's a shortish piece of writing. I've written one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, about twelve-ish sentences but I've really thought about my vocabulary and my use of parenthesis. The parenthesis has more come down here, but I've got brackets, commas, and dashes throughout. We're very excited about seeing what you all come up with. Don't forget to submit it, and I will see you on the next tutorial.